Yo, what's good? Your 413 here back in today, and today, guys, we have just received a slew of information from Need for Speed about Need for Speed Payback. And I mean, my gosh, guys, this is a slew, a slew of information. I don't know if that's a common word to use, but I mean, there's just so much of it. I'm really, really excited. And all of the information has to do with vehicle customization, which is probably one of the main reasons people buy Need for Speed is for all that vehicle customization. Now, this is actually going to be my first Need for Speed game, which is why you guys see me playing Horizon 3 and not Need for Speed. So, I mean, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. So first up we have is a lot of people, I guess, in Need for Speed 2015 were complaining about the size of the garage in the game. Now, this issue has been addressed, as what Need for Speed has done is they've added five garages to the game, and with each additional garage that you own, more vehicle space is going to be added to the vehicle warehouse. But finally, once you reach all five garages being owned, you will then have access to the unlimited vehicle warehouse, meaning you'll be able to store as many cars as you want. And that feature right there, guys, I am so excited about that. I can't, I, I think this is probably like one of the first racing games that allows you to actually store unlimited amounts of cars. At least that's what they're saying. There might be an actual limit on it, but it might be so high that very few people are going to reach it. So, but like right now in Forza Horizon 3, I'm kind of mad because I've reached the vehicle limit in the garage and it just sucks because it's 550 cars and now I got to go through and get rid of a couple and I'm not too excited about having to do that because I got to get rid of some cars that I bought off the auction house during the 100 million credit giveaway because uh, I just don't like I'm sitting there. So I got to empty my garage a little bit so I can get rid of those. So, but anyway though, the next feature though is another feature I'm really excited about which is called live tuning. Because so, you guys know when you're like playing a racing game and stuff like that, you want to make some changes to your car, but you got to either hit the pause menu and like for example here in Horizon 3, you got to go over here, click tune car just to make those little bit of changes. And now I was actually really happy that they allowed it so that you could tune your car while not in the garage in Forza Horizon because it, it was kind of a pain having to drive all the way back to the garage to tune the car or exit a race or something like that. But now in Need for Speed Payback, you're going to be able to just drive around, all of a sudden hit a button and open up your tuning menu. So if you need to change your gear ratio, I don't know if that's actually a tunable feature in, and you can do it on the fly while driving without having to stop the engine. And I think that's pretty cool. Although it is going to be probably a little bit distracting, a little bit difficult to do, but I think once people get the hang of it, it is going to be a pretty awesome feature. I, I'm really looking forward to that. As sometimes, you know, I'm just driving around, I'm like, man, I really need to tune my car just a little bit, just a little bit, and I gotta stop everything I'm doing just to go and do it. So, anyway though, the next feature is actually called Perk Parts. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually what it's called, that's just what I'm calling it, but essentially, some of the parts in the game are going to have perks associated with them. So, let's say that you want to have bigger air. You want to get bigger air on all of your cars. Well, some of the parts in the game are actually specifically designed to add bigger air. And I think that is pretty awesome. And these are all, like, performance upgrades. So, it's going to be, like, you know, uh, an exhaust upgrade with air. With an air perk. And I think that is going to be pretty damn cool. And I'm saying pretty damn cool and pretty damn awesome all the freaking time. Because I am so stoked about all these features. I am really looking forward to it. Really, 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 yeah. Really, yeah. If you guys don't know that song, the same person who sung uh, I Spy sings a song called Really, Yeah. Look it up. It's actually pretty good. I really like it. Really, yeah. So, but anyway, that is one of the cool features about that. And some of the upgradable parts that are going to have these perks are going to be, you know, for nitrous, for air, and for top speed. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, although one of the performance parts already be upgrading your top speed. I don't know. That, that one seems a little bit fishy there. So, our next one is actually going to be brand bonuses. So, like the perk parts, the more parts that you upgrade with the same brand, you're actually going to be receiving bonuses from that brand. So, let's say you get a bunch of parts. Like, you have Grumbo brakes and 
Brembo exhaust, although Brembo doesn't make exhaust to my knowledge. But, like, I don't know what brands they necessarily have, but those kind of features are going to be in the game where you're actually going to have brand loyalty, essentially. And they're going to give you bonuses for being loyal to their brand. And I think that is kind of interesting. I don't know how it's going to work exactly, but they didn't really any specific perk. They mentioned that it is going to be a little bit different than the perk bonuses uh, that are received from just finally. What we have is we have upgrades. Now, these are the upgrades that make your car your car, such as Underglow. So, I guess Underglow is making a comeback to Need for Speed, although I thought Underglow was always a feature of Need for Speed games, but according to, like, their article that they posted, it just, it didn't seem that way. Uh, I didn't really look into it in about Need for Speed 2015, but Underglow is going to be in Need for Speed Payback, so you'll be able to throw those neons on your car and just be driving around, looking all ricery. Then, the next vanity upgrade is going to be, you can change the color of your nitrous flames. <laughs> I'm not even joking, guys. You can change the color of your nitrous flames, and that is going to be hilarious. So, I, I kind of already can see it now. There's going to be someone who's going to have a purple Lamborghini. He's going to be driving around with purple underglows and purple nitrous flames and it's going to be on the next upgrade which is air suspension so you're actually going to be able to slam your cars as far down to the ground as you want and i think that is, that's probably my favorite of these vanity upgrades is being able just to slam your cars now i'm not necessarily a big fan of the slam scene anymore but i used to be a big fan of it just as low to the ground as possible what am i scraping on oh a leaf so I, I think that is going to be probably my favorite feature. And you know, all my cars are already going to be slammed all the way down to the ground. And then finally, the last upgrade for that purple Lamborghini is probably going to be purple tire smoke as we're going to get tire smoke as a vanity upgrade, which I don't believe has been in previous Need for Speed games. So that is definitely going to be a cool little feature there. So because I was reading up online about one article and the pre-order bonus, like you get a little car pack that has five additional cars, and those five additional cars are actually going to have exclusive platinum blue tire smoke in the platinum car pack. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how all that goes. But anyway though, leave a comment down below, let me know which one of these customization features you guys are most excited about. And as well, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash gear413 and instagram.com forward slash gear413. And make sure to hit that like button down below, friends, because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.